What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Ace of Base. And we're going back to the 1993 U.S. edition of their Happy Nation album. Wanted to give a big shout out to Pascal. Um, I mentioned in a video uh, in the last batch that I started a Patreon. I'm not really going to talk about it too much in the reaction videos, but um, a number of people donated uh, right away. I really appreciate that. And the first person to donate uh, was Pascal. So big ups to you, Pascal. I really do appreciate it. Uh, but like I said, we're back with the Happy Nation album, uh, and the next tune in the playlist is the title track, Happy Nation. So, I don't know, it sounds like maybe there, there's going to be some irony to it, or, you know, it's essentially sarcastic. It might be about, um, you know, the way in which there's a malaise, or perhaps people are, you know, on Prozac and watching television. It feels like there could be an irony to it. Um, now, who knows, it could just be about dancing and having fun and partying, but... Um, I suspect there might be more to uh, more than meets the eye to the title. So let's find out. This is Ace of Base. The tune is Happy Nation from the album of the same name. Uh, and as I said, we're listening to the US version, which came out in 93. <laughs>
I liked about the few tunes of theirs I knew. But perfected. Uh, honestly, uh, now who knows, maybe that was played on the radio to some extent, but at least, you know, in California when I was in uh, my early teens and the early 90s, they played Don't Turn Around, The Sign, um, All That She Wants. I heard all three of those songs a lot on the radio. I never heard that tune before, and that's crazy, because I, again, I feel like it's it takes some of the best things about those three tracks and puts them into one tune, and then adds this chant, almost uh, medieval style singing in parts, uh, just really crazy track. Uh, like I said, probably my favorite Ace of Bass tune I've heard, at least, you know, on my immediate response to the track. So, um, yeah, that was a top tune. Again, it had a melancholy, it had that reggae vibe. Again, maybe perhaps a little slower tempo, so it felt like a little deeper, a little more down tempo. Um, but just a really cool tune. Now, again, uh, lyrically, I was so stunned by the Sonics, um, I didn't pick uh, most of the lyrics up. I did hear little bits and pieces where it makes me wonder, again, maybe if there is, you know, an irony to it or there is a, um, you know, an, an underbelly to what's happening, but perhaps not in the way I was thinking, like, you know, people wired to the television and they're taking, <clears throat> you know, um, you know, cor uh, commercial drugs and, you know, less being happy in a sense of being um, enforced or like chemically happy. But this felt like there was, again, have we gone too far or something like that? I don't know if that was actually that refrain. Um, the gone too far was in the refrain, but I don't, I don't know if it was a question. I don't know if it was actually framed that way. But either way, it felt like there was more than meets the eye to the title, just not in the way I was thinking. But uh, like I said, really cool tune, um, has me even more excited to go through the rest of this album. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you think of this one. I'm curious if this is a tune that was in a single, it was played on the radio. Presumably as the title track of the album, it was emphasized in some respect, but again, at least in Southern California in, you know, 92, 93, 94, um, I remember hearing the other hit tunes that I mentioned a lot. I don't ever remember hearing this one, so it's odd to me. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.